That was really cute. <laughs> hey guys, it's Basinger through and through here with the. Uh, yeah, I was about to continuation. I gotta stop saying the same lines over because they're not always the same. Anyways, this is a brand new Let's Play for the Rare Replay. Um, one in particular we couldn't get just what? We couldn't get your latest save file. Wait, this is a new game though. <laughs> Try again. I'm not connected to Xbox Live, so that might be something. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Cause I do have. A yeah, go online. Because I do have a. Wait, is that it? Is that too- no? I am so confused. <laughs> oh shit, well, wait, uh, fuck. I need to block that somehow. Alright, hold on a minute, guys. Oh. <laughs> sure, why not? Um. Uh, wow, this is an interesting way to start the game. <laughs> With an update. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't used my Xbox One in a while, so of course it has to do this shit. Um, I, yeah, because like the last time I used it was like, what, January? Or, no, it was like March when I was playing it with my um, nieces and nephew. We were playing, um, I think, Lego, the, the Lego movie, the video game. So, um, yeah, that was like the last game we played. Ever since then, I never used my Xbox One to begin with. I was too busy with Splatoon because I've been really, I'm getting really um, into that game by the way. Very fun multiplayer game. Um, and, and it will have like concept free updates over time so hey, it's, I mean I guess like at launch it wasn't really worth it but now that there's a lot of free updates, say go for it. <laughs> um, I like how I'm advertising like the Nintendo products and the rare Let's Play here. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm assuming this is going to be a 0 0.5 episode. <laughs> or I'll probably just skip the, um, I was about to say something as soon as, like, the Big Mighty Poo showed. I was like, <laughs> it was very hard for me to contain, like, any dialogue to myself because of all the reference. I, like, I, it looks really cool. Um, the way that they basically just set the Rare Replay intro as, like, a theatrical production. Um, I really like it. it it's really cute. Um, I know, yeah, I've noticed a lot of things um, from the Rare Replay. I know, okay, I guess I could, while this thing updates, I could, um, I guess, um, Tell you guys about my rare history. Now, of course, if you guys know, I'm doing. I'm currently doing a let's play for Banjo Kazooie, and that game is part of the um, update. Now, for what I've heard, you can actually transfer the save file from your 360 files onto the Xbox One, but I have no idea how to do that. And I'm assuming you had to do online or do such a thing. So, if we could do that, then um, I guess that's going to be a good continuation for the Banjo Kazooie let's play. Uh, aside from that, I don't think I'm doing any other let's plays for any rare games. I think that's like the only one. Um, I might start on them, assuming if I'm uh, if I really do enjoy them a lot. Um, yeah, I, I have played most of these games before. Um, let's go through the list. Al uh, Attic. This is by alphabetical order, by the way. Attic attack. I don't know what that is. Banjo Kazooie. You know what what that is. Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts. <laughs> I'm kind of scared of playing this game because I've heard it's a really bad game. So, oh boy. <laughs> Can't wait to see what that's all about. Um, Banjo 2, yeah, I assume it's a sequel to Banjo Kazooie. Unfortunately, I will have to be playing that as well. Despite the fact that, well, I've seen some footage of what Banjo 2 is all about, so. Um, hopefully, nothing is going to be too much of a spoilerific um, sent, uh, sequences when um, I play Banjo uh, when I finish Banjo Kazooie. Then again, I don't think Banjo Kazooie is all about a story to begin with. I mean, you got Gruntilda, she kidnaps her sister, you save her. That's, assuming, that's what I'm assuming what the story is all about. 
Um, I'm not sure what Banjo 2 is all about, though, so I don't know. Battletoads, I have played this with a friend! <laughs> and yes, we did play co-op! And it was fucking terrible, like... Ugh, like, I hated Battletoads for a while, and... I thought it was, like, one of the worst games ever, but that's only because, like, I was playing with my friend. I haven't played it alone since then, though, but, uh... I assume it's a lot better, because... Like, your friends won't be, like, hindering you whatsoever. There's also, there's also a Battletoads, uh, Battletoads arcade game, so that's interesting. I haven't, I didn't even know that there was, like, an arcade version. I know there was, like, a Double Dragon versus, uh, Battletoads. But I'm assuming because they don't, they don't have the license for Double Dragon, so they can't port that version out. So instead, they used the Battletoads arcade machine, which I didn't know existed. Blast Corpse, never heard of that. Cobra Triangle, never heard of that. Conquer's Bad Fur Day, they're using the N64 version, which means there's going to be a lot more swearing. So kids, stay home, don't watch this show. Um, but yeah, I have played ba uh, Conquer's Bad Fur Day before, really, really enjoyed it. I don't know exactly where I stopped, though. The only reason why I stopped, because I didn't actually own the game. I was playing at a friend's house, and I don't know, for some reason we stopped playing it. Um, I guess because, like, like um, at my friend's house, we had she had, like, a PlayStation 2, and, well... Of course, like, the N64 is, like, old news now, so we pretty much stopped playing any N64 games. We were kind of, uh, uh, basically, um, focused on, like, the GameCube, PlayStation 2, and Xbox games. Um, yeah. Me, I had a... Yeah, that's what me and my friends always had when we tried to, like, combat against the situation on the consoles we don't own. I own the GameCube, my best friend owned a PlayStation 2, and my cousin owned an Xbox, the original Xbox, so... Basically, in any time we want to play games from another different console that we don't own, we just go to their house and play. Of course, you could realize um, which, Soul Cal which Soul Calibur version of the game that we played. Um, yeah, because we all own Soul Calibur. Uh, we we all own Soul Calibur too, but we always played the GameCube version because obvious reason is obvious. Uh, anyways, back to the list. Digger T Rock, don't know what that is. Grabbed by the Ghoulies. I've seen the box art before. It looked shit. <laughs> it looked shitty. Uh, but again, like, maybe it's like an underrated gem that I just haven't sure. And I'm just judging the book by its cover, so I wouldn't know. I just remembered Ghost and this little kid that had blonde hair and kind of looked like a ghost himself. Really pale skin, but that's all I've got so far. Gun Fright, I don't know what that is. Jet Force Gemini, don't know what that is. Jetpack, don't know. Jetpack Refueled, if I don't know what Jetpack is, of course I don't know what Jetpack Refueled is. Uh, cameo Element of Power, never heard of it. Killer Instinct Gold, very much looking forward to that because I played um, Killer Instinct and Killer Instinct 2 that was downloaded on the Xbox One. And I'm really glad that they didn't port, like, just, just the first or second Killer Instinct game. They actually made a different, they actually ported a different Killer Instinct game onto the collection. So it's not like you're, like, replaying through the same game, like, if you own the Banjo-Kazooie version of the Xbox 360 Live Arcade version or something like that. Um, Night Lord, don't know what that is. Lunar Jetman, don't know what that is. So, yeah, the majority of these games, I have no idea what that is, what they are. Perfect Dark, I do own it. I played it. Fucking love it as hell. Um, whenever I'm not playing Goldeneye, which is, well, well, hold on. Uh, I, bad wording for me on my part, because I've never played Goldeneye, at least the N64 version, version, um, the only Goldeneye I played was, um, the game that Activision made, um, for the remake, for the Wii, um, I lost that copy, but I do, uh, I did buy, um, a different version of Goldeneye for the PlayStation 3, which is the Reloaded version, I think, hold on, I have a copy right here, Goldeneye Reloaded 007. Basically, yeah, it's basically an updated Wii version for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 versions. Not sure if it's on PC, though. Uh, but yeah, Perfect Dark, um, I kind of always, I kind of always really wanted to try out what, uh, Goldeneye was all about, but I never actually got the chance. Um, so, um, when Perfect Dark was on the Xbox Live Arcade, I decided, eh, I'll buy this one to see what it's like, and I really enjoyed it, despite its archaic design. Um, but yeah, um, I really do like the Perfect Dark when I was playing it. On the Xbox 360 Live Arcade version. I haven't played on the N64 though, so I have no idea what it's like. I, I don't think I'm gonna like it too much though, because uh, I don't I don't relatively like the N64 controllers too much. Uh, Perfect Dark Zero. Never played it, but I do actually own a copy of that game. Uh, I have no idea why I haven't played it yet though. I think I was saving that for a Let's Play or something, which I guess is right now. <laughs> um, RC Pro Am. I th isn't that the racing game on the NES? I'm not too sure. There was like a lot of racing games on the NAS, but I think this is kind of like a Micro Machines kind of game. And I'm assuming RC Pro M2 is the sequel to it. I'm not sure. Oop, shit, sorry. Uh, 
Saber Wolf. <laughs> so, I'm assuming it's the same character from Killer Instinct. I mean, the uh, there's a Saber Wolf character in Killer Instinct, and there's a game called Saber Wolf. Although, I'm not sure if it's spelled correctly, though. I'm just going to assume it's the same character, so I'm looking forward to that one. Even though I have no idea what it's all about. Um, Jesus, fuck, it's still updating? 52%? Holy shit. <laughs> Uh, what is it? Sl Slalom. Don't know what that is. Snake, Rattle, and Roll. Don't know what that is. Solar Jetman. Don't know what that is. Underworld Day. Don't know what that is. Viva Pinata. Don't know what that is. And Viva Pinata, Trouble in Paradise. Don't know what that is. So out of all the 30 games that I've uh, bought in this collection, I only know, or at least enjoyed, Banjo-Kazooie. Um, I, I, I shouldn't say Banjo, I've heard Banjo-Tooie, so I, I'll count that. And I, well, I've heard Banjo Nuts and Bolts, but I don't necessarily enjoy that. So I say, like, three recognitions, one enjoyment, because I have not played Banjo-Tooie, and I have not played Nuts and Bolts. Uh, Battletoads, I shouldn't count that as enjoyment, but I definitely know that. Battletoads Arcade, never heard of that, so I guess I shouldn't count that. Um, Conker's Bad Fur Day, definitely know about that. Grabbed by the Ghoulies. Uh, Killer Instinct Gold, Perfect Dark, Perfect Dark Zero, and it seems like that's about it. So I, <laughs> out of the thirty collections, I've only I only know nine games in this thirty game collection, and of all the games I enjoyed, hold on, let me check: Banjo Kazooie, Conquest Bad Fur Day, Killer Instinct Gold, Perfect Dark. Only four games I know that I will definitely enjoy. So. Who knows what this collection is going to bring us. Whatever the case is, I am very much looking forward to playing all these games for this Let's Play. So, um, yeah, I really hate how the Xbox One box cover, like... Okay, so if you own, like, a Wii, a Wii U, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, whatever, any disc, you know for a fact that the disc is always on the right side when you open the, the case. For some reason, the Xbox One, one box case, the disc is located on the left side of the, uh box when you open it which is really weird and I guess there's no manual whatsoever so remove this cover sheet for important game and safety information it's kinda like a double-sided copied on the other side of the box art that's weird um, inspiring worlds beloved characters unforgettable fun rediscover 30 hit games with rare replay um, I'm pretty sure Nuts and Bolts was highly critically acclaimed it's just I guess the fans didn't really... It's like Star Fox... If I think of it as like Star Fox Adventures, then maybe I wouldn't, it wouldn't be too bad. I don't know. Like, I really... Um, speaking of Star Fox Adventures, that game's made by Rare, but it's not in the collection. <laughs> obvious reason is obvious. Um, yeah, so I'm a little bit disappointed that I won't be able to play Donkey Kong Country or Donkey Kong 64 or Star Fox Adventure or any other Rare games that Nintendo IP owns. <laughs> but it's pretty damn obvious as to, as to why I'm... Those games were not included. Same thing goes for um, GoldenEye, too. Like, that's a licensed game, of course. And I'm guessing they couldn't get the rights to that game because... Wh whoever the fuck owned GoldenEye won't allow it or something. So, yeah, I'm a little disappointed that I can't play GoldenEye, either. I mean, I guess Perfect Dark was a good recreation of that, but... I really do want to see what GoldenEye has to offer. Then, yeah, I'm not sure. I, if, I'm, if I do play that, I might compare that to, like... The uh, Wii version that I own, or used to own, so... I don't know. Um, I guess I could look at the box cover. Um, I'm probably going to be ed editing this video highly a lot. <laughs> since it is a 0 0.5 episode. Um, so in the cover, we have this... Uh, there's this... Um, I say 8-bit, but all I see is two colors. It's just white and blue. In fact, the entire background is white, so... It's a silhouette of blue. And there's a duck on the top right hand corner of the rare logo surrounded by uh, rare characters there's actually two uh, birds I'm not sure what those are um, so I'm guessing like this is not just from their like NES days this is coming back from the Atari or something right or because I don't really recognize any NES game that has this maybe there's like some of these that are like very old underrated gems or something that's why I have never heard of them before uh, on the other hand, um, let's see what's inside the Rare logo. Well, technically Conker is actually um, outside of the Rare logo, so... We got, like, a, the Killer Instinct version of kill, uh, a Rash from Battletoads. God, he looks scary as fuck. 
<clears throat> but what's more scarier is Banjo and Kazooie, the new redesign. Good God, what the hell happened to you guys? Kazooie kind of looks like he's stoned off. She's sorry. <coughs> <coughs> Kazooie kind of looks like she's thrown off her fucking ass or something, and Banjo, good god, that rape-grinning face? Ugh. Uh, I'm not looking forward to nuts and bolts. Um, on the left side, we got some sort of dragon monster that I've never seen. I'm, uh, we have, a uh, Joanna Dark. Uh, on the top we got a bunch of people we don't know. I see an anime chick. Uh, oh, I think that's, um, the blonde kids from Ghouls and Ghosts. Wait, no, not Ghouls and Ghosts. Uh, grabbed by the ghoulies. Ghouls and Ghosts is made by Capcom or something, right? Um, we also have this Indian-looking girl, or a Sarabian or something, I'm not sure. And I think, is that the Grim Reaper from Banjo, cause, sorry, not Banjo, is it from uh, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day? I can't tell. I know there is a, uh, what you call it, the Grim Reaper in Banjo Kazoo, I'm just, sorry, not Banjo Kazoo, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, sorry. <laughs> I know there's a Grim Reaper from uh, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, I just don't know if that's the same one, or if it's from a different game. Uh, and, fun fact, his name is Greg. I don't know why. <laughs> but, uh, Greg the Grim Reaper, why not? Um, I see a robot, an orc, that looks like someone from Project Sparks. Um, we see this really big looking Voltorb. That removed its white colors, I guess. I'm not sure. I don't fucking know any of these things. Oh, I also noticed like a yellow furry... Not yellow furry. A rainbow looking furry fuck. I don't know what that is all about. And a robot. Okay, okay we got a robot. Looks kind of like... I'm assuming like Mega Man? I don't know. There's also this pink looking boo on like... Banjo and Kazooie's feet. And a piñata. I'm guessing that's from Viva Piñata. Uh, what other comparisons can we have? In the background, we have some leaves, a tent, some trees. Uh, in the other background, we got white with dazzling Photoshop gradient tools. Uh, what about the back? Uh, the back, it's just pretty much some of the same uh, images. We got Banjo Kazooie, a piñata. Uh, Joanna Dark in her new design. Some dude with a jetpack and that Indian chick again. Which I'm assuming she's Indian, but I have no idea. She might be Egyptian or something. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry if I'm being culturally racist. Uh, but that's about it. Uh, screenshots. The biggest rare collection ever. And it shows a picture of Banjo and Kazooie nuts and bolts. Brand new challenges to test your skill. And it shows a picture of Battletoads. Um, so did they add some things for the older games? That'd be pretty interesting. Relive your favorite gaming moments, and it shows kind of like a first-person shooter game. It's definitely not Halo. Um, I'm guessing that's Perfect Dark Zero. The graphics are pretty intense, but I'm not sure if it's like one of the Rare's recent 360 titles or something. I'm not sure. Iconic characters and games you love. Well, from the picture that shows the iconic character section, it shows a giraffe. Or a camel of some sorts. But I don't know that. I don't think that's iconic enough. Like if it's like Conquer or... Hell, Joanna Dark even, then... Of course that would be iconic because it's like one of the old school, like very well-known rare characters. But this giraffe looking thing? I have no idea who the hell you are. Uh, restarting. It better not turn off the fucking Xbox One. <laughs> I think it did. Hopefully the recording's not ruined. Hold on, let me check. I should probably edit this part as um, an extra part of something. It's been 20 minutes, so why not? Uh, so far I'm not. I'm I'm on the computer screen right now. All I'm seeing is black. Uh, whatever the case is. Hold on. Let me go back to the. Oop, Penny's on the trash can. Um, let me go back to the HDMI 3 where the game is located. I'm guessing it's like restarting now, right? Searching for signal. Still nothing but black so far. What's going on? Is the Xbox One even on? No signal. Fuck. So of course it's off. <laughs> Shit. So this is gonna fuck up the recording. So, uh, I guess I'll be right back and. Oh, I just. Now it says applying update. 
Yeah, I'm alternating between HDMI 3 and HDMI 4. And HDMI 4, the screen is always delayed by, I think, 5 seconds or something. I'm not sure specifically, but it's definitely delayed sometime. And every time I switch to HDMI 3, it's always in sync. Or at least as in sync as possible. So let's apply an update right now. So I guess it's, time for, it's more time for us to talk. Um, Xbox One, Xbox Live, Players 1, Xbox Live 2 to 32. So this game has Xbox Live integration, I'm guessing? Um, but if it's so, then, uh, what games are, I'm guessing Joanna, uh, I'm guessing, um, uh, Perfect Dark Zero has some sort of online multi components or something, I'm not sure. Ugh, when those games blow stuffy, hold on. Don't take that out of context, guys! If you guys can even hear me. Can you guys hear me? If you guys didn't hear me, I just said I wanted to, I'm trying to blow something. That totally sounded inappropriate right there. Ugh. When I say blow something, I meant blow my nose. Plus, not the. I'm totally describing the disgusting parts of my body fluids. Are you not entertained? Ugh. Ugh. Fuck. No longer coughing, that's good. There's a reason why... Uh, there's a reason why I took up my headset for this microphone section. Really talking loudly as possible. I don't think you guys want to hear me blowing my nose. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but... I don't think I can. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, welcome to the show, guys. This thing is a part five episode. Uh, what other companies that? Rare, obviously. Studios. Don't know what Havoc is. Like a game engine or something. Engine. Uh, is that better? Can I smell perfectly fine? Without breathing from my mouth? Uh. Alright. I think I'm good to go. Hopefully. Ooh, the microphone's hot. Next time I better not block into the sun's radiation or whatever. Uh, it's almost done updating. So, we're close to finish. I mean, that's all I got for the box art. Only on Xbox One. It better. <laughs> Watch, this gets a fucking PC release. Just like all the other Xbox One games. Uh, yeah, because as of now, because Killer Instinct is now on PC, um, Rare Replay is the only Xbox One exclusive game that I currently own. Ugh. That sucks! Ugh. Anyways. Now I think we should start the Rare Replay. Uh, start. There we go. Alright guys, we are back in part one. Or what? Or not. <laughs> More updates! Why not? Oh fuck, what the hell? This game's only like one week old. Why does it already have a fucking update? Is there a game breaking glitch or something? Size of the update is about 282 megabytes. Well I can say this for damn sure, it's at least better than fucking Assassin's Creed Unity's update. <laughs> God, Assassin's Creed Unity's update is like 100 gigabytes or something. I think specifically it's like 80 gigabytes, but good fucking god, that's like... Look at my storage space right now, 138.3 gigabytes, and out of all the games that I currently own right now, let's minus all the obvious ones that are from 360. Uh, surprisingly, I don't actually own a lot. Huh, I thought I owned a lot more. Never mind. But, well, actually, no, that's even worse, actually. Because, hold on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 22, 23 games. 23, at least, um, some of them are physical, like, out of all the physical games, I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, games like the 
360 games and the classic games don't really cost that much. So let's assume Assassin's Creed Unity, Final Fantasy Type-0 HD. Uh, Ground Zeroes is pretty big as well. And when I say big, I meant in storage space. This thing is like fucking 5 gigabytes for a 1 hour game, really? Um, Legend Core is not too big. Lego Movie surprisingly is like 3 gigabytes, so I think. I remember it actually setting into the gigabyte territory. Where's Orochi? Woman's Song was actually pretty fucking huge too. It's like 40 gigabytes. But yeah, like, out of all those games, fucking Assassin's Creed Unity manages to take up the most storage. Like, how do I manage games? The game itself is 40 gigabytes, but I think I actually uninstalled the game or the update or something. I'm not sure. Alright, 40 gigabytes, hold on. I think most of this storage space is also from, um... Microsoft's own Xbox update. 22 gigabytes, holy shit, that is fucking a lot. Which is this demo. 6 gigabytes. <laughs> Somehow less than LEGO City, but then again... How much is Killer Instinct? 19 gigabytes, actually pretty big, surprisingly. I thought it was a lot more shorter. What about you, Ori? 7 gigabytes. Okay, interesting. Uh, actually, no, we should probably check the individual Xbox 360. 6 gigabytes? Really? Holy shit, 360 games are pretty fucking big. What about you? You shouldn't be too big, right? Okay, 651. That's bad. That's good. What about nuts and bolts? I'm blaming you for my... 7 gigabytes? More than... Oh, wow. Wow. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm in, and once I'm not enjoying your shit, I'm uninstall uninstalling you immediately, <laughs> nuts and bolts. I'm Banjo Tui. Not much, that's good. Jetpack, I don't know what this game is. It's very low, okay, so not too much. Cameo? Six gigabytes, so I'm guessing this is like a retail game, and this was a downloadable game. How much about the Killer Instinct Classics games? Very little. It's basically like Banjo Kazooie territory here. So yeah. Perfectly fine. What about you, Ground Zero? Four gigabytes. Okay, so it's a lot less than what I imagine. I think. Did I say it was like three gigabytes? I think it's actually more now that I think about it. From what I've predicted. What about you, Project Spice? I barely play you. Two gigabytes. Alright, that's actually pretty. Two gigabytes, that's huh. I didn't know it was that big. How about you, Rare Replay? 11 gigabytes. I'm guessing that's from most of the game. Most of the- there's like- Because I'm not- I'm noticing that there's no Conker's Bad Fur Day or- Like, hold on. How many, uh, games from the Rare Replay are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I need to kill anything gold. 6, 7, 8, 9. So there are 9 out of the 19 games. 9 versus 19 games. From the collection. And one of them is already like fucking... Both of these games are like 6 or 7 gigabytes. So I don't think that they were able to like store all those games into the Rare Replay. Which is understandable. Um, Viva Pinata. 5.5 gigabytes. Yeah, I'm surprised that 360 games take up so much space. 6.5 gigabytes, alright. 5.6 gigabytes. What about the retail, the last few retail games? 20 gigab, about 20 gigabytes, and 44 gigabytes. Holy shit! I kind of sworn like the maybe it's on the apps or something. No. Whatever. Like I only have 138 gigabytes left, and I've only installed games so far and updates. I don't think I've. Inst I don't think I um downloaded anything else from any. Also, I'm not signed in for some reason. Who the hell's Mystified Boat? Apparently, has the same name as me. Uh, oh no, I think that's the username that the Xbox One gave me. Because I guess I didn't uh, sign into my own gamer tag from the Xbox 360. I didn't transfer. Like it, it gives you a random username. But you do have the option to set your Xbox 360 gamer tag onto the Xbox One, and I guess for some reason... Fuck me, really? All because I haven't used this thing for six months. 
I'm bombarded with goddamn updates and. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's still people downstairs. But... Percent? Good God! How to get out of here? Home button, right? Uh, f there's nothing on TV. I'm not connecting my PC yet, so we can't really watch. Uh, let's see what my friend's been playing. FIFA, Lego Batman, Need for Speed, Gears of War. Is there more? I don't think I have a whole lot of friends on my Xbox 360. Most of them are from my PlayStation t uh, 3, actually. Or PlayStation in general. PlayStation Network. Uh, Sniper Elite 3, Minecraft Xbox One Edition, Dead Rising 3, Just Dance. Lego Marvel Super Heroes. I actually own this game for um the PlayStation 4, so... Is the Ultimate Edition contains like Gears of War one through three or just one? I know this guy though. He um actually appeared in one of my Let's Plays before during the um Gears of War, Naruto. I forgot the other two games. Um, he also also appeared in one of the Final Fantasy thirteen yeah LP parts. I really need to catch up on a whole a lot of Lego games. Like I really do enjoy them, but uh. It's just so many of them, like, slow the fuck down, guys. Uh, leaderboards. <laughs> I'm guessing this is the amount of uh, gamer, te gamer score we've uh, accumulated throughout the, the uh, semester of this game release. Well, not just release, like, any time. Because <laughs> there's no, like, specific, like, games we had to... What the fuck am I even saying? <laughs> Closest achievements to unlock. Let's see here. Land kill slights on 20 enemies. Kill 100 enemies. Create 50 soul links. Counter 100 times. Kill 500 enemies. Take down 100 imperial soldiers. Cool. Um. Good god, Jonathan. You play way too much. <laughs> uh. There. Is this really all my friends list? One, two, three, four, five people. I don't use my Xbox a lot. Even my Xbox 360, I've been really using that a lot. Uh. Oh. Oh, someone's at the phone. Be right back. Alright, I'm back. Just had to talk to my sister because she called me. Anyways, um, so it's ready to start, but the update's not done yet, so I'm... From what I remember, the update does still continuously install even after, um, oh sorry, even, um, if it's ready to start. I'm not sure if the uh, update slows down, but hey, might as well, <laughs> might as well update while you play the game, right? So I'm guessing the update only contains what's necessary, because the same thing actually happened to me when I played Killer Instinct, like, uh, only one character was selectable, but not all the characters. That's my guess, though, at least. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's actually a pretty cool thing. You get to play the game while it still updates and such. Alright, let's... Yeah, finally start the game. Uh, be right back. <laughs> 